First of four McLean High School students were back in the classroom for the first time today following last week's deadly shooting at the school's homecoming football game. One student was killed. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tatum Gwynn. News on Six's Amy Slanchik is live in front of the high school with how alumni showed up to support students today. Amy? Tatum, as students showed up for school today, they saw a packed crowd of alumni encouraging them on their first day back. <laughs> McLean High Schoolers stepped back on campus today with a warm welcome from alumni, faith leaders, and Tulsa Police Chief Wendell Franklin. Today, the community showed up big time to welcome our kids back. There were hugs, fist bumps, high fives, and music, all to start the day off on a positive note. Good morning. School has been canceled for three days at McLean after a shooting just outside the football field killed 17-year-old Teron Yarbrough and injured three others, including a nine-year-old girl. Tiffany Crutcher with the Terrence Crutcher Foundation helped organize today's return to class event. We deemed it important uh, to show up and, and let them know that they're loved. Uh, that they're supported and that we have uh, their backs. This week, TPS Superintendent Dr. Deborah Gist said Tehran was an AP student and worked a construction job. She also shared what one of Tehran's teachers wanted people to know about him. And I want to share directly what she said. Tehran was absolutely brilliant and incredibly talented in math and science. He was balancing home and school with hard work in the construction industry. He was passionate about football and basketball. He loved his family so much, and his absence will be palpable. While taking the first step moving forward after an unimaginable loss, McLean alumni showed today students are not alone. This is what community is all about. Tulsa Public School says the other 17-year-old who was shot is still in the hospital recovering, and Tulsa police say nearly a week after the shooting, the suspect is still on the run. Tatum. Amy Slanchik live for us outside of McLean High School this afternoon. Thank you.